Weekly Talk 32. This probably will be the last weekly talk of the year here with me. I would like to bring three topics to this one. First, I will talk about this great idea from one of our students. He, one of our friends and teammates, he brought this idea that we're going to call Core Battle Buddies. Second, I would like to revisit the schedule for next week. We will have a modified schedule, of course, because of the camp, end of the year camp that we always run. Um, this will be a, a recycling instructor's camp, but it's open, like I mentioned before, to everyone. And I really would like to ask everybody to RSVP, uh, whoever's planning to come to the late um, party, let's say, or get together on Saturday. It's important that you guys RSVP because we have limited uh, spots and, and the place is not that big. And also would like to have a head count so we can figure out the snacks. And this is something that I'll mention very quick, how we change from dinner to this other thing that we would like to do. And lastly, I would like to talk uh, about competitors. Actually, I'm going to invert the order here. We had um, a really good group of people competing this weekend. I would like to congratulate everybody because I saw a huge improvement in mindset. I think you guys really uh, embraced those three pillars. We usually, we use that towards self-defense. And I always talk about awareness, preparedness, and willingness. And those Concepts came from SIOC, the SIOC tactical group, so those are not my ideas, but I, I incorporated into our system. And again, I, I learned that from Kyle DeFord, Bill Raper, and they learned that from Tuham, Tom Kyer. But I saw that was a great way to incorporate those concepts into what we do every day, regardless of which style you guys have been training. So summarizing here, I think that most of you guys competed had more awareness as far as like what you needed to work towards this competition how much um, training you needed so your awareness i could tell that you guys were more in tune with yourselves as far as what you need to compete better number two you guys prepared more i saw more of the competitors attending more classes so that's very important and training more and third, of course, you guys had the willingness to give it all and, um, you know, do your best. I didn't see anybody giving up. I didn't see anybody with the wrong mindset. Of course, some people more nervous than the others, but that's pretty normal. That will raise your awareness as far as like yourself, um, how you see yourself, how you can work on those things that um, you need to work. But you, we only find out when you compete. And like many people say, Competing, competing, uh, it, it's it's like taking uh, 50, 100 classes in, in five minutes. We learn so much about ourselves. And me as a coach, even though I couldn't be there for everyone because I'm one of the organizers, what for what I could see, um, I know where I have to improve as a coach. And, and that's part of the curriculum of this week. I found our, our weaknesses is not something that was so individual because I could see among, you know, a few other people. So that's like a collective type of issue. And that's what we have to do in every com competition. It's great to have people competing because I can troubleshoot my own ways of training people. And then I also talk to the other instructors because at some point other people are going to take over, you know, and, um, uh, and, and do more instruction and do more teaching and maybe I can share more the way that I think today so in the future they can they can do um, there are changes they can you know get inspired by you know my in own insights but regardless congratulations everyone as far as like next week we're gonna have a lot going on right so for Thursday and Friday we have the camp fund instructors or uh, people willing to become instructors like i said is open for everyone regardless of your belt level just like competition going to these camps that i organize for me my opinion is like attending to 100 classes because you're getting like so much information uh very mindful information things that you really gonna open your eyes you guys gonna take a lot from from this camp especially because uh the first 
two sessions on Thursday and Friday because we are bringing this psychological side in martial arts education and that has been uh, getting developed by my sister who is a very competent um, professional and she's my consultant now when it comes to psychology in education so I think it would be a great um, great way a great perspective but Saturday we're gonna have that big seminar with Pahumpa please if you guys can this week already pay for it with Sylvia everything we don't make a profit we don't make a single penny all of this will go towards our guest instructor who's Pahumpa and again the school i the only reason why i hold these seminars is for your own good another reason why i bring pahumpa not only because he's um he has an amazing experience he trained under carson gracie his whole life he also is the main jiu-jitsu coach for all att professional fighters from from our headquarters in coconut creek he uh, also have a different game. He's a smaller guy, faster guy. So many things that maybe it's harder for me to teach, he can teach better. And it's my obligation as a coach to find people that are better than me to teach things that I also like and enjoy and I teach, but maybe with their own sauce, I call, uh, their own spices, their own flavoring. And I think that enriches everybody jiu-jitsu. So you guys know that I think I don't know everything, so I try to bring people, even though they might teach slightly different than me, doesn't make my techniques worse, doesn't make my techniques better, it's just a different way that might fit better somebody else's game. Now, for and then we have the brown and black belt testing. I would love to have our brown belts and black belts there because for this one, I only, on a shark tank, I'm only going to have brown and black belts going against uh, not going against, going with the the new black, the brown belt, uh, people going to their brown belts and people going to their black belts. We we actually won't have the open mat because at the same time, because this is going to be the biggest graduation as far as brown belts and black belts that I ever held in our school, especially because of the upgrades in degrees. There are many black belts that are going to their first second and third degrees in brazilian jiu-jitsu and that's a big thing that's a really 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 big thing so we need to make sure that everybody's there will be a packed event and we're gonna have our celebration we're gonna make it as a happy event celebrating vitoria's life and graduating her to her purple belt and preparing something that we can have uh permanently um, in our walls to remind ourselves of how great Victoria was and is in my is still in my heart. And lastly, um, there's this great initiative uh, project that a really good friend came up with, and I think I'm gonna. It's best to keep him confidential because the whole idea is to keep this confidential. And the name of the project is going to be Core Battle Buddies. I will run. And I will ask anybody that would like to volunteer to be in this list of a, it's pretty much our support system, our support group. Maybe you you are somebody that it's a counselor working with people recovering from addiction, or maybe you're a psychologist, you're a counselor, or you're a lawyer, you're a police officer, you work in healthcare, uh, you work in mental health care. If you think that you have something that can help someone and you want to be in this directory directory with uh, that I will keep or we will keep I will actually maybe have a few black belts uh, that will have this list this list is not going to be published your name not, not going to be out there this list is going to be with me or actually going to be with Sylvia going to be with other uh, black belts or the leaders and I will create a, a different email account for anybody that say, I had it before, somebody going through a divorce, having um, looking for a lawyer, somebody looking for referrals. And we want to keep everything anonymously. Um, no questions asked. That's the most important thing is no questions asked. You, you can send 
an email to this address that we're going to, this is going to be all done by January, but so you guys know what we're going to launch, you need some help and it could be mental health. Uh, you know, it could be just your health in general. Um, it could be any struggle and then, or you're struggling with addiction, or maybe you know someone that needs and we have a great network of people. We have a great network of uh, brothers and sisters in martial arts. Maybe in Connecticut, maybe outside Connecticut. So maybe we can do this like even nationwide because we have core schools everywhere. So I'll, we will have this list. And maybe, um, like I said, people that need a, ref, uh, a referral, they can send anonymously, no question asked, absolutely no question asked. Confidentiality will be uh, the utmost uh, principle within this thing that we want to do. But at least like... I can um, give you this list and then you contact this person. This person might contact someone for you or refer someone. It's not something um, related to, it's not a financial thing. We're not asking people to, to do any favors. It's, it's just a, to have a hub and a good information for everyone. So those are the three things. Please RSVP. Um, I'm going to put the link here in the description of this um, video. Another thing that's very important um, is your participation one way or the other. Um, just be present as much as you can. And um, I will finish this video sharing with you guys because it's holidays and I am, I love Christmas. I'm Christian. So regardless of your religious views, I think music, it's something that is universal and we can share. And I will share with you guys. For me, it's the most beautiful song in the history of all songs. <laughs> and this touched my heart. I don't know why. It's so deep. And really, um, it's music that brings, I don't know, joy, emotion, love, uh, compassion, empathy, and there are many interpretations. And the name is, um, I don't know, how do you say that in English? I know in Portuguese, Jesus Alegria dos Homens. Here, I think it's Jesus Joy of Men's Desiring from Bach. It's a classical for me. It's the song of all songs for me, regardless, regardless of your religion, religious views. I think this touches our souls. Regardless if you believe in the soul, it touches our heart. Regardless if you are a death, death metal person, a rag, reggae music person, regardless of your taste, this is just too beautiful to not share. So like I say, <clears throat> we humans, especially nowadays with all this separation and this political division and this evil that is going around with people trying to split us in groups and and make people hate each other so much i think this song i think could unite the whole world and the same way that if i was tasting a really good i always use this uh this analogy like imagine like i'm i'm eating a such amazing chocolate most people don't share. They want to finish the chocolate. A lot of people, they are eating something that is, ah, oh, this tastes, this tastes bad. Oh, try this. Oh, this is bad. Boom. You know, people tend nowadays to share more like this than willing to sacrifice their pleasure so other people can have the same good um, experience. So if I'm really eating my really good Belgian chocolate, I would try always to leave and share with someone a piece. And I really love chocolate. So that's a really hard thing for me to do, to share my chocolates, especially if they're really good. But this song is just the song of all songs. So I share with you guys here. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong key. key.
I love cellos, and there's one thing now you know about your coach. If anybody asks you, like, what is the song that your coach loves the most? That's the song. So I really wish you guys uh, a Merry Christmas if you guys celebrate Christmas. And again, regardless of our religious views, um, I share mine. And yeah, this song is... It's like Jesus is speaking to me. Anyway, see you guys this week. God bless. <laughs>